Well, Hollywood is reeling this morning after the shock death of Black Panther star Chadwick Boseman at the age of 43. The actor's death was announced in a post on his Instagram page which said Chadwick was diagnosed with stage 3 colon cancer in 2016 and battled with it these last four years as it progressed to stage 4. A true fighter, Chadwick persevered through it all and brought you many of the films you have come to love so much during and between countless surgeries and chemotherapy. Quite incredible. The actor passed away in his home with his wife and his family by his side. Weekend Sunrise movie man Jason Jabba Davis joins us now. Jabba, good morning to you. Um, this has just come as such a huge shock to the entertainment industry. Um, what's really Im impressive and incredible about all this is that the star chose to keep so much of his personal battle private. That's right, Matt. Good morning to you and mine and everybody, our Weekend Sunrise family. Extremely sad news for movie fans and I think for the black community in America, what a year they're having the loss of Kobe Bryant, the Black Lives Matter with everything that's happening there. And now someone that's been a figurehead for positive uh, role models for kids, for the whole community. It's really hard to um, overstate the impact that the film Black Panther and particularly Chadwick Boseman's role as King T'Challa, uh, the head of Wakanda forever, um, had on just a whole generation of kids being able to see a hero of their own skin colour on the big screen. He carried himself um, so incredibly and to hear that during all that time, all the filming, he was undergoing chemo, um, he was having treatment for his colon cancer, he kept it all private. Um, and, and just stayed an extremely positive person uh, right up until his death. It's uh, it left a lot of people in shock. Um, and I think we're, we're going to see the film Black Panther take on a whole new meaning. I remember seeing mm. it and seeing um, uh, Australian African people in traditional dress dancing in the foyer of the George Street cinemas after seeing the film. I mean, just, you know, a huge, huge cultural um, moment, that film. He was a huge part of that and now a very sad loss so young. Yeah, really interesting that while he was shooting, you know, his most recent in the last few years, he would, you know, basically leave the set and go and have treatment and, you know, just didn't let on to most people. Hollywood is reacting to his death today, you know, with lots of love. Yeah, understandably uh, reaching into every single corner of Hollywood from his co-stars on the Marvel films to Oprah Winfrey, who says what a gentle, gifted soul, showing us all that greatness in between surgeries and chemo, the courage, the strength, the power it takes to do that. This is what dignity looks like. Bob Iger, the head of Disney, uh, one time head of Disney. We are all heartbroken by the tragic loss of Chadwick Boseman, an extraordinary talent, one of the most gentle and giving souls I've ever met. Uh, depth to his groundbreaking role of Black Panther, shattering myths and stereotypes. That is the head of Disney, Bob Iger. Um, of course, he became a long-awaited hero to millions around the world. That's Chadwick, not Bob. And inspiring us all to dream bigger mm. and demand more than the status quo. So... Uh, you know, the, the American community, the showbiz community, the movie community reeling, even our own Chris Hemsworth. Going to miss you, mate. Absolutely heartbreaking. One of the kindest, most genuine people I've met. Sending love and support to all the family. Rest in peace, Chadwick Boseman. So, yeah, just pausing there for a moment for uh, someone taken so young who had such a big impact on the cultural landscape. Yeah, just devastating. Um, uh, Jabba, moving on into one of your reviews now. This is one of 2020's uh, biggest films, uh, Christopher Nolan's Tenet. Uh, it's finally hit cinemas after being delayed by the COVID crisis. So much anticipation here. Um, it's been hailed as the film that could bring audiences back to the struggling industry, I guess. Um, give us your verdict. Matt, turns out that Trolls World Tour is actually the film bringing people back to cinemas. Went along yesterday to see Tenet for a second time after seeing it last Sunday. Turns out that the speakers were turned up uh, too loud when I took the family, Mel and Ruby. We came out of last Sunday's screening of Tenet kind of hating it. Um, there is so much reverse dialogue, Russian accented dialogue. It's a spy story about uh, the protagonist played by John David Washington, fantastic uh, actor who's Denzel's son. He's basically travelling backwards and forwards in time with the help of Robert Pattinson's character Neil. Um, they're part of an organisation called Tenet who are trying to stop weapons returning from the future that's all being masterminded by Kenneth Branagh's uh, Sator, who's a Russian ogliar. It's um, made a bit more sense the second time around, particularly with the audio being tweaked. Um, I have actually changed that. I've given it an extra half star, but it is mission impenetrable. I'm going to give it three stars for Tenet. Trolls mm. World Tour also screening. Uh, that might be a bit of an easier run if you need a family film to take the uh, to take the family to. But the cinema was pretty busy, so great mm. to see popcorn machines and chock tops uh, back on board. Yes, indeed. All right. Thank you very much, Jazz. Thanks, guys. Cheers.